This problem asks us to calculate the price of a 15-year $1,000 zero-coupon bond with a nominal interest rate of 6.5% assuming annual compounding. Here we have the time to maturity or N equal to 15. We have the face value of the bond equal to $1,000. Since the bond is a zero-coupon bond, it does not pay any interest or coupon payments. Therefore, PMT is equal to zero. And an interest rate is given to us, which is the nominal interest rate of 6.5% with annual compounding. First off, if you recall, the nominal interest rate cannot be used for calculation on the timeline. It needs to be converted to the periodic interest rate. So the periodic interest rate is equal to I norm by M, where M is the number of compounding periods. Here our M equal to 1. Therefore, the periodic interest rate is 6.5% by 1, which is equal to 6.5%, giving us an I by Y equal to 6.5. So let's put our values into the financial calculator. I am using the Texas Instruments BA2+. Plus. Before we input our values, we need to ensure that any past data is deleted, so it does not interfere with our future calculations. Therefore, second FV second clear now let's start n equal to 15 so 15 and n setting the time to maturity equal to 15 my i by y will be equal to 6.5 6.5 i by y so the financial calculator does not expect a 6.5 percent or a 0.065 just the 6.5 is sufficient I have a zero PMT because this is a zero coupon bond. It has no annual coupon payments. The future value is equal to $8,000. I compute my PV, which gives me the price of the present value of the bond to be equal to 388.83. So here, if you notice, there is a negative 388.83 because the calculator assumes an investment outcome perspective saying that if I purchase or if I invest 388.83 in the zero coupon bond at the end of year 15 I will receive a thousand dollars principal repayment notice that this zero coupon bond is priced very steeply at a discount of 388.83 and after 15 years promises a payment of eight thousand dollars for the 15 years, the company does not need to make any annual coupon payments. So this seems to be a very attractive method of financing because the company is able to receive or raise money at a very steep discount using the zero coupon bond.